Hold back for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to... This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. <laughs> yeah.
Or a siphon. Oh, 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 come on. I'm gonna die if you don't help me. Oh, uh, the poison's all inside me. I can feel it. Oh, oh, oh help me. Oh, God. Please all right. help me. All right. Quit moaning. Oh, oh, Christ. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Not that right. Okay, I do. girl. Oh. Uh, now, I, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Get the hell out of here. I'm gonna enjoy robbing you, tough guy. Hand it over. Oh! Oh! God damn it! Ah! I was right. Oh, oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. 
Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you know the way? Yeah, me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Ooh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You mean drinking? <laughs> Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? <laughs> sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Easy, easy. Easy. You're okay. Easy. Whoa, now, easy. You're a good man, Arthur. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> this don't feel right, Arthur. It feels like the wrong direction. Now, 
Just a scratch. We lost Let's go. All right. You know the way? Yeah. Me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Ooh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You mean drinking? <laughs> yeah. Lady, sing us a song. <laughs> ah, I'm not a girl in Fairyville. Can't be so right here. Too damn it. Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Easy there, easy. Whoa, now. Easy, it's okay. Easy there. Take it easy there. You're okay. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that stuff. No, on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Ooh, caught me off guard right there. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. 
Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. <laughs> Something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. That guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Wait. Ain't you the fella who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure, well, these things happen. And that was some good viewing. Don't reckon folk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. Well, it's all done now. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. But look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mouth. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Trying to stay out of trouble now.
Well, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been... Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Yeah. Can I help you, sir? Please, please, somebody, be generous. Show you care. Come on, please, somebody. No trouble now, please. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh, uh, uh. No more. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just... Men. But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I, hope, uh, I will. Okay up there? After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get... I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Hey, Just on it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now.
Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me out. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. I can't hold on much longer. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yep. Yep. Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll boys. What you staring at? Move I've along. Made it. Hey, right. what's, what's going, going on here? Well, uh, get the hell out of here. I guess you forgot about the interest. <clears throat> That's it. Get him. Come on, fool. <laughs> Every one of us O'Driscoll is going to...
bullshit. Welcome back. Watch yourself. I know you. You're trouble. There a problem here? <laughs> hey, eyes ahead, friend. gone off wandering again. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. <sighs> yeah, I got a story for you. My sister's fella came home from the bar all Hello. fired up. Left her with two Excuse black me. eyes. Excuse you ain't scared me, nobody. Money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Uh, so it goes. Watch it. Welcome back. Oh, Lord. Hello. Care to try your luck? Okay, then. I'm gang. Let's go. I'm taking what's left of my fingers and getting out of here. Bye, then. You sure you're up for this? Guess I'll show you how a professional does it. Ah! 
Seems like I can't be beat, huh? Embarrassing yourself and losing blood. <clears throat> now, watch this. Ouch. Uh. Maybe practice some with a stick for a while. Can't see why this is considered a challenge. I'm uh, in pain. I better go. Practice. You uh, you might want to wash some of that blood. If you off. ain't gonna order something, then hey, skedaddle. Look out. Nothing for you to concern yourself with. Thanks. Careful, big out. man. Hey, be careful. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of... Sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Yes, that's it. First time, mister? No more raising hell from you this time. You hear me? Careful there. Don't think I've seen you here before. Welcome. What kind of thing you looking for?
taking off a fine mustache damn near breaks my heart. But whatever the customer wants. She can get mean when she's drinking. You better watch your behavior around here. Well, bet you're glad you stopped by. Enjoy the compliment. Look out. Ain't forgotten you. Good to see you again, partner. So, what are you aiming for today? Careful with the pages.